Today we're going to be reviewing the Fella Italia Flight Boost Saddles. So to celebrate the 30th anniversary of the Sella Italia Flight Saddles, Sella Italia actually released a new variation this year. This is called the Flight Boost and it features a shorter, more compact design that carries over a lot of the features that made the original so successful. Originally introduced in the 1990s, the Flight Saddles have been popular among pro athletes and amateurs. In fact, it's so popular they actually re-released the original version as the Flight 1990s model as something original owners could replace their saddles with. Now there are six variations of the saddles. I have two of the variations here. There's a carbon version, you have a manganese version, which is a more affordable one, and a middle version that we're not showing here, but is a titanium alloy. Now those are the three rail versions, and within each of those variations you have the superflow with the center cutout and a non-superflow version. All the saddles use uh, Cell Italia's ID match system, which is a really nice system to easily uh, pick the right saddle for you. Now you have the designations here. You have a wide variation, which is designated by the L, and then three numbers. You have one, two, three, and then you have a more narrow version, which is S, and again, you have S, one, two, three. So it makes it really easy to upgrade your saddle or exchange your saddle and make sure the uh, fit is still on. So let's go ahead and take these off the little packaging. These are simple cardboard backings. I've already taken off the little uh, zip tie that holds them in place. As I mentioned, we have the most expensive and the cheapest version here, so it'll make a very interesting uh, comparison for those shopping for the saddle. The most expensive version retails at $399, so a $400 saddle. This has a carbon rail, so it's a non-circular rail with a ceramic coating for durability. They describe the covering on here as Fibrotech, as a technical cover material. Feels like a micro suede, it's quite grippy and you see the perforations as well. These all feature the latest updated uh, flight saddle uh, logo, as well as nice little red markings here to set it apart. In between these there is a titanium alloy version for $289 and then you have the TM version that we have here. This is the non-superflow variation, which is designated as an L1 because it's the wider variation. This retails for $149.99, so a lot more affordable. So with the Flight Boost TM version, you get a manganese rail, and you also get a different material on the outside. Instead of fiber tech, you get soft tech, which Cell Italia describes as a polyurethane cover. It feels quite grippy to touch, and instead of the perforations on here, you get these little graphic elements that look like perforations. So now let's take a look at the weight of the saddles. Both of them feel quite light to the touch, but we'll see what the scales say. Starting with the more expensive carbon variation, that comes in at 160 grams. And if you remember, this is the L3 version, so the wider variation. The more narrow one will be even lighter than this. Then the more affordable variation comes in at 252, so quite a bit heavier. And this is the non-superflow as well. So now let's go over the fit and finish of the Flight Boost saddles. What makes the Flight saddle so popular are a couple design elements that are carried over here. If we start with the top profile of the saddles, you can see they have a very T-like profile with a long narrow nose and a wide rear. Also the other aspect about the Flight saddles is the fact that they have a very flat profile to them. So you can see here on the side profile it's almost exactly flat. Now with these new variations, what they've done is actually chop the nose off. So if I were to put another one, the original saddle, uh, side by side here, you can see the nose is chopped off by quite a bit. So you get a more compact, more aerodynamic and lightweight saddle. And this is actually in line with a lot of the new variation saddles as they become a little bit shorter for more high performance uh, cycling. Now the ratings for these saddles are more for lower, shorter and faster riding. Uh, less for endurance, they have more endurance variations. Now if we look at the carbon version, there's a couple elements that are new to the Flight Boost saddles. The first thing is the actual specs are written on here. So you can see the width, the length, and then the model name is actually printed directly on here. And if you've ever bought these saddles used, or just try to find a replacement for your current one, you know it can be really confusing since there's so many variations, it's hard to determine what you actually have. The other thing is they've actually updated the logo on here. So this is a more modern variation of the flight. 
So if we put that side by side here, you can see a more modernized, uh, less graphic version. Now, the $400 saddle is really cool and the carbon fiber, lightweight, uh, can definitely pay dividends on the road. Is $400 saddle gonna make you faster? I mean, honestly, no, but it's really, this is a saddle you really want since it's beautiful, it's lightweight. The one that's more practical to get is the TM version though. And I'm glad to have both variations here as you can really put them side by side and see that most of the design elements are carried over. The main difference is it's heavier, uh, quite a bit heavier, almost 100 grams and the outer material slightly different with the rails also being heavier. But a lot of the main design elements are there, the construction is there, same logos. It's just a little less pretty, uh, but a lot, less, a lot more practical, obviously. Now let's take a look at the saddle mounted on my bike. This is the TM version and you can see the reflective elements where the perforations would be uh, really shine against the light. Overall, the saddle looks really good. The stubby design means it's more compact and has a more aerodynamic look to it. And even though this is the wide version, it still looks pretty sleek and compact. Now let's do a little comparison with some other Sella Italia saddles. What I have here is the original 1990s flight. This is the reproduction version. So titanium rails, same really sleek design. And you can see if we put the TM and the original one side by side, you can see really similar. You have the same T profile, same flat side profile. Here you can really see the updated logo side by side where the new one looks a lot more modern and sleek. You have boost printed on here and more uh, subtle design elements. Instead of cell Italy being on the rear, it's actually here on these sides. And also they printed all the information about the saddle right on the back and that makes it a lot easier uh, especially if you're buying the second hand or just looking to replace the saddle you already own without having to guess what you have. The big thing here is if you put them side by side, you can see they've really chopped the nose off this thing. So it's quite a bit shorter, maybe an inch or two. A little more aggressive, lighter weight, and definitely in line with the current trend in saddles. Now here we have the Superflow version, the carbon variation. If we put this next to Cell Italia SLR, you can see again, with these side by side, again, the nose is quite a bit shorter, so it gives you a more aggressive position. And the Superflow SLR is quite a bit more aggressive in terms of the cutout. So you can see it extends all the way back through. This is a saddle I actually bought secondhand, and because there's no markings on here, it's kind of a guess of what you're getting. And I actually got the wrong size, but ended up uh, keeping it anyways. But you can definitely see the evolution in the design. Now, if we compare a stock saddle that might come with your bike, this is a specialized Lithia. You can see how bulky these saddles are. So even compared to the original 1990s, you can see why the Flight is such a popular saddle. It's a lot more compact, a lot thinner and equally comfortable without all this bulky padding. And with the new boost variations, you can see quite a bit more compact, a lot lighter weight, and can be a lot more comfortable ride. So now let's go over the pros and cons for the flight boost saddles. What we really like about it is the compact design. That stubbier nose means it's a lot shorter, which makes it more lightweight and a little sleeker in appearance. We also like that it shares a lot of design elements with the original flight. So a lot of the characteristics that make the original saddle so comfortable are, same, are still true here. Uh, they've just modernized it with the updated materials and shorter design. It's also available in a variety of widths. With the ID match system, you can really find the saddle that matches you instead of having to kind of struggle with fit. Some of the cons with these saddles is the fact that it's only available in black. Uh, some other manufacturers do offer a lot more color options to really let you match with the bike. Also, the shorter length may not work for everyone. Even though the shorter saddle has become a market trend, it's not necessarily uh, ideal for everyone. So definitely recommend trying it before you buy it. Also, the last con would be the carbon variation comes at a premium price. You save a few grams, but obviously it costs you quite a bit. I uh, would definitely recommend the TM version for those a little more budget conscious, while the carbon version is really something that can finish off a really nice build. Taking everything into account, I would give the Flight Boost Saddle a 9.5 out of 10. It's a really modernized classic that really takes all the excellent elements from the Flight Saddle and really modernizes it. Thanks for watching this review. Don't forget to like and subscribe. 
You can see more content from us on our website at thesweetcyclist.com, as well as follow us on Instagram at thesweetcyclist. This is The Sweet Cyclist reminding you to enjoy the ride.